hello everyone. Well, I'm going to discuss about the gardener, the last story or the last lesson of the book, The Magic of Words. All right. And well, you can see on the screen of your device the name of the title, The Gardener, and the name of writer, Rudyard Kipling, and the picture of the writer. Well, at first, I just would like to say something about the writer. All right. Uh, the writer is Rudyard Kipling, you know. And well, he was born in Mumbai, India, to British parents. All right. He got education in England and he returned to India. And thereafter, he started writing short stories. He's a popular uh, story writer. And the gardener is one of his best and most popular stories. Okay, well, uh, now it is time to tell you this story. But to know the story uh, properly, you need to know the characters at first. So I would like to um, just show the characters. You can see on the screen uh, there are five characters. The first you see is Helen Turrell and she is the central character of this story and she is said to be sister of George and George Turrell is said to be the brother of Helen or George and Helen are said to be brother sisters in the story. Uh, Michael Turrell is the illegitimate son of Helen and George. Uh, Mrs. Scaresworth is a lady whom Helen meets in a hotel near a symmetry the gardener uh, is the character uh, who appears at the end of the story only and uh, he can be uh, Michael's father or maybe incarnation of God and we shall talk about uh, this after I tell you this story all right and here well you can see some places on the screen of your device well the places which are discussed in this story are on the screen Hampshire of England uh, England Hampshire place okay and where uh, Helen takes uh, her son or the baby uh, to that place and raises her him up there in British society and prep school is a school boarding school where uh, Michael studies okay and India Bombay is the place where the writer was also born but here in the story the character uh, Helen Turrell was born in India Bombay okay and south of France Marseilles and here Marseilles is the uh, place uh, of southern part of France all right and in this place uh, Helen uh, goes from India uh, to give birth her baby uh, she gives birth the baby there and she takes the baby to Hampshire uh, and tells the villagers that the baby she has brought with her is uh, her brother's son uh, since her brother was killed uh, by falling of the horse in the military force and his illegitimate wife was not very much responsible so that she has brought that um, baby with her to uh, raise up there right and Hagen Jill it's uh, said to be a place or imaginary place let's say the third military symmetry uh, located in Belgium all right uh, and hotel it's uh, the okay scene that we find in the story that's near Hagenjil or this military symmetry there is a hotel where Mrs. Scaresworth and Helen meet each other in the evening and they talk uh, about uh, their purpose of visiting that place all right 
okay well now it is time to tell you this story now i would like to tell you the story in short all right uh, well the gardener is mainly the story of helen tarell uh, she is the woman of her british parents she lived in bombay india uh, at that time india was under british colonial rule uh, in about the end of 19th century she conceives or uh, she becomes pregnant without getting married all right uh, therefore she travels to the south of france marseilles where she gives birth to a son in secret and takes uh, him to live in england in her society uh, uh, thereafter she baptizes or names uh, him michael and in order to maintain her place in british society helen invents a story makes a story the story is that uh, helen is the son of her brother charles whom the villagers also know as an indian soldier uh, she tells them that his brother charles was in relation with a daughter of a non commissioner but he has recently uh, died uh, due to the fall of the horse in horse riding in the military field uh, it is just few days after uh, his illegitimate wife gave birth to the baby all right uh, the baby's mother was not able and responsible or she was not good to bring him up therefore she has brought to live with her there uh in this way she makes the story and tells the villagers or tries to uh, assure them uh, it as a real story all right uh, the villagers do not take her story in a true one but they accept because they think it is not bad to take the responsibility to raise a child uh, time passes on uh, michael grows of um, believing that helen is his aunt uh, not his mother when he is young child he asks helen why he cannot call her mommy and helen tells him that she is his aunt but he may call her mommy at bedtime uh, michael becomes pleased uh, with this arrangement but uh, becomes sad offset when he finds out that helen has told her friends about their relation or discussion he threatens sometimes or tells uh, her sometimes that uh, he will hurt her by dying young in the war michael uh, completes his school education and in the time to go to oxford university to study he joins the army instead uh, he is recruited in the army um, it is the time the world war first has broken out all right uh, after one year into the war michael is killed by a shell splinter while digging trenches for war okay uh, helen is first uh, informed that michael is missing but she knows that missing means dead uh, still she hopes and thus she inquires to many organizations to find the fact but unfortunately when the war ends helen finally receives the confirmation letter that michael is dead and she makes her journey to hagenjil to find and commemorate the grave of michael all right uh, in a hotel near the cemetery or graveyard there is a hotel 
where Helen meets Mrs. Scaresworth. Uh, they do not share the truth to each other at first uh, on whose headstone they have come to see for in fact right uh, but afterwards uh, mrs scaresworth tells her uh, her true story that uh, in fact although she is married now she has been in love with a man who has been killed recently in the war so helen also becomes uh, sad to hear about mrs scaresworth in this way mrs scaresworth confesses uh, her reality in a sad and rushing mood uh, uh, in the next morning helen goes to visit michael's grave all right uh, she doesn't find his uh, headstone among thousands okay uh, she but fortunately she happens to see a gardener and um, asks him for help to find her nephew's headstone nephew's headstone all right the gardener looking at helen with infinite compassion okay uh, tells helen that he shows where her son lies son lies not nephew lies Thereafter, uh, all right. Thereafter, uh, the gardener leads uh, her to the grave of Michael without asking any headstone number as well. And uh, Helen worships Michael's grave, and while returning from the grave, she looks back at the gardener. And she finds him bending over his young plants and flowers. All right, the story closes in this very scene. Okay, well, this is the story of the gardener I have told you in short. All right, now uh, more or less you must have uh, understood as far as i think all right now let's discuss the possible themes of this story right and here you can see on the screen of your device the two major themes have been presented there the first is child mother relation uh, yes uh, here well this story shows a deep mother-child relationship all right uh, helen illegitimately conceives the baby and pretends it as the son of her brother charles all right she uh, brings him off michael likes her to call mother and helen also likes to be called mother but what to do due to the society she has to kill her wishes and wants Although she herself is the mother of Michael, all right, she cannot be called as the mother. She feels very sad when they talk about their relation. Uh, they weep and hug to each other sometimes, okay. Um, although she has to live in a strict moral convention of British society, he dares to bring him up this shows that um, the story presents a deep relationship between child and mother right uh, similarly uh, we can prospect other themes as well like uh, the story strongly depicts the situation of women in the contemporary rigid moral conventions of british society right Helen cannot speak openly about her experiences. Michael is her own son, but she has to pretend at all just to be safe from the society. Having baby without getting married was immoral. 
but raising someone's baby was a matter of respect and appearance uh, she has to make such pretensions in order to be uh, fit with british social convention right uh, in the same way uh, the situation of uh, women and uh, women was pitiful due to the world wars especially the first world war right uh, uh, many wives had to lose their husbands in the war uh, there was almost the scarcity of male young men uh, due to the death of their husbands and lovers in the war uh, women had to be widows right and here in this story uh, the talk of death of michael his father and mrs scarsworth's boyfriend in the world war reflect this reality okay so in this way uh, we can uh, we can find the themes as the uh, okay mother child relationship and the situation of the women in that contemporary society right and well now uh, we discuss on a question which is frequently asked in examination as well now you can see the question on the screen of your device all right and the main uh, key points for answering these questions are well written uh, maybe michael's father maybe incarnation of god uh, or a spirit ghost of either george or michael so for this question i would like to uh, tell you my own views all right the um, uh, first is here maybe michael's father okay it is because uh, we can speculate this uh, the gardener okay uh, in multiple ways who is the gardener we can uh, speculate we can guess in multiple perspectives right uh, the one is that the gardener may be the real father of michael himself it is because the writer says that there was uh, compassion a very lovely look in his eyes at helen okay when he saw her first in the graveyard uh, the human being uh, who is in love can feel the value of love and they uh, express through their appearance and expression all right and the gardener also uh, expresses or shows such feeling of love with her there and we can uh, guess like this because uh, uh, the gardener uh, the gardener is in fact jor uh, here uh, uh, the gardener is in fact the uh, okay father of michael or the illegitimate husband of um, helen we can say and he he might be there in he was there in india before but in search of job and so on he went to uh, that part uh, that country and uh, while searching job he got the job of a gardener right uh, and when michael had died uh, this gardener came to know the name of michael's mother right michael's mother uh, and michael's mother uh, he heard as helen tarel thereafter he remember uh, okay his uh, mistress or he remembered uh, his relationship with helen and therefore uh, he recognized michael as his own son and thus he had recorded all about the tom number of michael and so on uh, and so that he directly could show the headstone of michael to helen 
as well and he looked at her with compassion uh, we can say so in this way uh, uh, here gardener can be the real father of michael all right but uh, uh, other prospects can also be done here well like another exploration can be that the gardener is the incarnation of god it is because without knowing the number of headstone uh, among thousands uh, the gardener directly knows michael's tombstone all right he he says helen that he shows her son's grave although she asks her nephew's grave it means god is omniscient so the gardener as an incarnated form of god helps her because god helps the people in problem helen was in fact not wrong she was wrong only due to the society right so the god has forgiven her since uh, she played a true role of a mother although she had to face lots of discomforts okay and uh, now uh, to prove who the gardener is we can give some uh, superstitious uh, reasons as well like uh, we can also guess the gardener as the spirits in disguised form of uh, okay the gardener okay uh, it is because helen in any way attempts very hard to raise michael up with full of love uh, she was suffering a lot for not finding the headstone so michael's father or michael turn off as the guide uh, to help her okay uh, although it is not possible uh, uh, since it is uh, just superstitious points um, this can be one of the ways to prove as well all right so we can prove in any way we like or in any way we think but to a great extent it should match with the content of the story the situation the writer has written uh, the story all right we need to connect and whether the you know, theme we have speculated is uh, related to the central characters or not we have to guess all about this and we should try to find as the theme of this story okay and this is the end of our discussion today uh, thank you so much for listening to me all right uh, that's all for today